many foreigners in China are concerned about the legality of using VPN tools. So, does using a VPN in China really constitute an illegal act? If it is considered illegal, what are the specific legal implications? Why is there a risk of breaking the law? These topics undoubtedly rank among the top concerns for expatriates in China. Therefore, I plan to address this subject in the final video of this series. First of all, I would like to discuss my views on the legal issues surrounding the use of climbing the wall tools. Many Chinese bloggers have successfully operated their YouTube account, such as Li Ziqi, and there are also many Chinese media and companies promoting their channels on these platforms, with millions of followers. However, this does not necessarily mean that the act of climbing the wall is a legal activity. In fact, the government has not provided a clear standard explanation on this issue. Before making this video, after searching for a large amount of information and various related cases, and reviewing other blogs' videos, I came to the following conclusion. If you only use climbing the wall tools to browse social media, watch videos, conduct Google searches for academic research and other activities, then no one is interested in investigating your behavior. Because your personal use of climbing the wall tools to browse information that is blocked in China does not directly or potentially harm society. However, if you use climbing the wall tools to obtain and disseminate information that has a negative impact on society or even poses a threat, then you have violated the law. If you teach others how to use climbing the wall tools or even sell them, it is a suspected illegal act because you are spreading the climbing the wall tool and its usage and cannot determine how others will use the tools. Your behavior will result in consequences that you cannot control. Therefore, this uncertainty that causes harm to society should be used as a standard to judge whether your act of wall climbing in China is illegal. So, for my videos, I will only explain in general terms the principles of how to access overseas websites or online services in China. I will avoid involving actual operations such as step-by-step -step instructions so as not to test the limits of the wedge legal boundaries. My principle is to respect the law and minimize uncertainty and risk. In addition, I will also popularize knowledge to foreigners in China who must use climbing the wall tools to reduce their concerns and avoid any behavior that violates the law. Many foreigners cannot understand why there is a need for the refinable to restrict the free flow and browsing of information. In fact, when I was just becoming an adult and had little rational and objective understanding of our society, I could not understand why the Great Firewall existed. However, with the passage of time and the increase of experience, I have lived outside mainland China for nearly seven years and now understand the necessity of the Great Firewall. I believe that you can try to understand why. From my perspective, the existence of the Great Firewall is necessary at this stage through my videos. Why does China have the Great Firewall? Firstly, from a historical perspective, it is common for pro opponents of different value systems to expand their influence and persuade others to accept their own values. Rulers often demand that foreign values do not influence their own citizens, which is also a common requirement. Secondly, rational, dialectical, and independent thinking requires education. However, the overall level of education in China is still not very high. According to statistics from 2022, out of China's population of 1.41 billion, only 60.63 million people hold a university degree, accounting for only 4.43% of population. Additionally, there are many countries, governments, social groups, and funds around the world that are keen on exporting and promoting their own values, as well as inciting and supporting the political regimes of other countries. Furthermore, China has experienced significant social upheavals over the past centuries, which has made us realize that the general population is susceptible to manipulation. Therefore, in order to maintain social stability for economic development, rulers find it necessary to implement measures such as the Great Firewall. However, in practical operation, the firewall has a certain gray area and can act as a filter. For individuals, if their education level is not enough and they lack rational thinking and objective judgment, then 
maintaining a state of no contact with external information is sufficient when an individual's education level or professional needs require them to access external information it means that the individual has already developed a certain level of independent thinking and accountability of their actions at this point as long as the individual behavior does not pose a hazard to the society they should not be subject to excessive control or restrictions as a foreigner who has come to china i understand that you may find it difficult to accept the different standards of freedom in chinese society compared to the society you grew up and lived in however in china to some extent controlling the freedom of information may be seen as the optimal solution to maintaining social stability i hope this video can help increase everyone's understanding of chinese society and answer the questions of foreigners on how to comply with chinese laws when using vpns or climbing the wall tools finally i want to emphasize that the normal academic work and entertainment needs are not a problem for foreigners using climbing the wall tools however do not spread false or harmful information nor teach or sell climbing the wall tools in this video series i will explain the principles and the various methods of bypassing the great firewall as clearly as possible so that you can use various online services in china just like you would back home and enjoy a worry-free internet experience i hope you will follow and support this series